Cushing syndrome is when your body makes too much steroid hormones, specifically cortisol. Usually this is caused by taking too much or too long steroids. So the doctor prescribes a drug like prednisone and the dose is too high or the patient takes it for too long and it causes Cushing syndrome. This is also known as iatrogenic Cushing syndrome. It can also be caused by a pituitary or adrenal adenoma. This just means a benign tumor. But even though it's benign, it still causes an increase in cortisol levels. Now, normally what happens is the hypothalamus makes something called corticotropin releasing hormone, or CRH. This causes the pituitary gland to make adrenocorticotropic hormone, which causes the adrenal glands to make more cortisol. Well, when you have a pituitary gland tumor, it's going to cause the body to make more ACTH, which then stimulates the adrenal gland to make more cortisol. This can also happen if you have an adrenal gland tumor. It can cause them to make more cortisol as well. Now, all the symptoms are really based off of the increase in cortisol. It affects a lot of labs. So we need to take a look at the labs first. Now, the trick to knowing all the labs that cortisol affects is some people get cold. You need to look at the first letter of each word, S, P, G, C. This stands for sodium, potassium, glucose, and calcium. And what will happen with these labs is sodium will go up, potassium will go down, glucose will go up, and calcium will go down. The first lab I want to take a look at is sodium. When sodium goes up, you should remember the rule from fundamentals when we learned fluid and electrolytes that water follows salt. So as sodium levels are increasing in the body, so is the water. Water follows salt. So the patient's going to have an increase in weight because of the water they're holding on to. Because they're holding on to water, their blood pressure goes up because there's more blood to being pumped out. Although fluid can also accumulate in the extremities, causing edema. The decrease in potassium is something called hypokalemia. The elevated glucose can cause obesity. Something called moon phase happens. And this is when the patient's face starts turning round and it's because of the fat deposits that start building up. Buffalo hump can also happen for the same reason. Fat deposits start building up there. The skin gets very thin and stretched out and it causes strea, a fancy way for saying stretch marks. The last lab is a decrease in calcium and this causes osteoporosis. This is brittle and weak bones that can break and fracture really easily. Other symptoms that can happen is a decrease in immune response. This is because cortisol actually decreases the inflammatory response, putting the patient at risk for infection. Cortisol also decreases muscle. Another way of saying that is muscle atrophy or muscle wasting. This happens because cortisol increases the protein breakdown and it stops protein synthesis. Some of the diagnostics that can be done for this is to check cortisol in the urine. You have to do a 24 hour urine collection for this. Remember to throw out the first void and then start collecting when you're doing a 24 hour urine collection. The other diagnostic can be something called dexamethasone suppression test. This is when you give the patient dexamethasone, which is a steroid, to see if it suppresses the ACTH production. Normally, the cortisol level should go down when this is given, but what will happen in a patient with Cushing syndrome is that the cortisol levels will stay elevated. The last diagnostic that can be done is to check ACTH plasma levels. You can do this by getting a blood draw. Some of the nursing interventions that you have to do is to take vitals, take INO, and to watch out for those labs, sodium, potassium, glucose, calcium. Now, the treatment for Cushing syndrome is to take care of whatever's causing it. So if it's caused by too much steroids, then we wanna wean off the patient off the steroids. Make sure this is done slowly, because if it's done too quickly, it can lead to something called Addisonian crisis. If the patient has an adrenal or pituitary tumor, then this has to be removed with chemo, radiation, or surgery. Medications can also be given, like ketoconazole and myteropone. All right, guys, that's everything you need for Cushing syndrome.